spokesman surrounding that terror attack in Flint. The FBI just released this new picture of the suspected terrorist Amur Fatoui. Meanwhile, law enforcement says the officer attacked Jeff Neville is doing well. They say the two stab wounds missed his carotid artery. We have also learned Amur Fatoui tried to buy a gun at the Gibraltar Trade Center within five days of the attack. We have team coverage tonight from Detroit to Flint, and we begin with 7 investigator Jonathan Carlson live at the Federal Building downtown Detroit. And Jonathan, what have you learned? Yeah, guys, a lot to get to. Let me walk you through the news today, how it developed. Congressional sources telling me earlier today that the suspect attempted to buy a gun just days before the attack, but was denied due to his citizenship. We've learned that attempted gun buy was in Macomb County. The FBI confirming for us he bought a knife instead. This, as you mentioned, agents releasing a new photo that they are hoping Michiganders saw him before the attack and call with tips about what they saw and where. Moments ago, the FBI releasing this new photo of Amor Fatui. Federal sources telling the seven investigators it's believed he was in our area as early as June 16th. And because he was not under surveillance, agents are hoping the public recognizes him and speaks up about encounters with the man now accused in a terror act. We show activity in Michigan on June 18th. Uh, as a result of the attack yesterday, we've now conducted over 20 interviews of witnesses, and we expect to do additional uh, interviews as we continue to go through the information that we have obtained through a variety of investigative means. The seven investigators also learning today, Dewey tried to buy a gun at the Gibraltar Trade Center in Macomb days before the attack, meaning it appears he didn't just drive directly from Canada to Flint. There was at least one stop in Metro Detroit before the stabbing attack on the Bishop Airport officer. Had he gotten his hands on the gun, it's unclear and scary to think about what attack would have or could have unfolded. Now that stop in Macomb County had me asking officials this afternoon if the suspect had cased any other sites in Metro Detroit for attack before moving on to Flint. I was told they just don't know the answer to that yet. They're obviously still interviewing this guy. However, they have no evidence that the Flint attack was part of a broader attack, they say. Also, sources in Canada tell me that three people were taken into custody at this gentleman's home. The FBI telling me today that there's no evidence that anyone aided the suspect in this attack, but we are awaiting word on whether or not anybody there in Montreal as part of his family will be a charge in connection with all of this. Finally, coming up at 6 o'clock tonight, we continue to probe into this story. We dig deeper into the bigger question of why Flint? We ask the FBI and law enforcement experts that exact question. News now on Fox News Channel. We're awaiting a news conference out of Michigan after a suspect stabbed a police officer in the neck at the airport in Flint, according to investigators. The FBI reports is now investigating yesterday's attack as an act of terrorism. The news conference taking place at the U.S. Attorney's Office in Detroit, about 60 miles south of Flint. The feds say their suspect, Amor Fatui, is a Canadian man of Tunisian descent. They say he shouted in Arabic and said something similar to, you have killed people in Syria, Iraq, and Afghanistan, and we are all going to die. Police say the officer, Lieutenant Jeff Neville, is now in satisfactory condition. He was initially critical. Garrett Tenney's in Flint for us. What else are you hearing about the officer's condition, condition Garrett? Well, Chef, everyone we've talked to here at the airport has told us that Lieutenant Neville was the kind of guy that everyone likes, and he was always the first to help out. We talked to a friend of his shortly ago who said hours after surgery last night, that Lieutenant Neville was already making jokes and talking with friends about how lucky he is to be alive. And he really is lucky. lucky. I want to show you, this is where the attack happened yesterday. FBI tells us that Amor Fatui came out of this bathroom carrying a 12-inch hunting knife. It was here where he stabbed Lieutenant Neville in the neck. And within seconds, three to four officers, along with a maintenance worker, jumped in to help separate the two, and eventually Fatui was arrested. And that quick response is now being credited for the reason that Neville is still alive. Jeff? What more do we know about this suspect? Well, we've learned from the FBI that he is not believed to be part of any type of larger terrorist cell. He's believed to be a lone wolf. And uh, his motivation that we're told at this point, it believe, they believe that he was carrying out this attack due to his hatred for the United States. Uh, we've, we've also learned from court officials that Amor Fatui has lived in Montreal, Canada for the last 10 years. He's married. He has three children. He had been working on and off as a truck driver and most recently worked two weeks ago. 
Earlier, House Homeland Security Chairman Mike McCall told us that investigators are also working to find out what Fatui's plans were when he entered the country last Friday. We know that he was probably self-radicalized, uh, was doing this in retaliation for the killings in the Middle East, in his words. He traveled from uh, Canada to New York, uh, then to Michigan, attempted to purchase a firearm, and was denied because he's a foreign national. Now, investigators are also getting help from the Canadian authorities who raided Fatui's uh, apartment and his home in, uh, in Montreal last evening. And uh, we are also told that prosecutors have said they plan to notify the Tunisian government about the arrest, and they're hoping to learn more information from the Tunisians and help with the investigation there. Jeff.